changing all the, the, the bot answers and it was really interesting to see the bot was getting better and better every day. Yeah. Okay. What was your reaction when you first listened to the dialogue? What was your feeling? Anyone would like to comment here? I get nuts or that's typical when I talk to Siri. <laughs> or it's like, hey, I was talking to a service line of the company. It's just talking to the service people. What was your feeling? Anyone would like to respond? I get, I get confused by the world. I, it, that kills me, actually. So when, when I was looking at, uh, I travel a lot, and I see people always looking at their smartphones all the time. I remember the time people were not looking at the smartphones all the time, but just looking at who's else in the room, which was much more interesting. Now everyone is so focused on the smartphones, so I like the idea just to, to be confronted with what's happening here and that kind of dialogue. And I think when I was, uh, as in 2010, I started a software project with very fast news. And over time, so doing that very, over three, four years, I recognized that my, my way of writing text changed. So that is like looking at people will probably transform, as you said, transform to someone else, because we are using that kind of technical interfaces, which change us so much. So it, that, that frightens me, yes, in some ways. Because I think I'm losing something of my personality. I'm losing something of, of richness. So I like that kind of confrontation. I would like, to, any, any more questions? Do you like to ask more questions? Anyone else? Sure. I don't understand, uh, where's the algorithm? Where's the algorithm? Okay. This you know, I want to show, because the yeah, I don't want to, want to, as an artist, I have a position that I don't want to make this decision between, between technology or, or humans. So I'm also a self-experiment. I write the software by myself. And this makes also the content different, I think, if you write software. No? So it's, for me, it's not, I don't want to have this decision between artificial or real, or I want to make, uh, create some kind of order swapping how we can go through these borders and, and try to find different angulus. And uh, the, the, what is the artificial what's the question? Or what? I was wondering where, where I can find the algorithm. Uh, yes, that, this, there was a the, the telephone server program, this uh, Asterisk is an open source project, and there's an AGI script, it's an Asterisk script that makes all the, the answer range things and sends everything to Google. And Google makes text recognition and text to speech things, no? And um, and then with there was an archive and so on the server and um, yes. okay. and uh, there's a bot. I wrote a bot and, and the, 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 this AGI script speaks uh, speaks with the bot over HTTP and gets answers and transforms it in looks in the database what is what what answers are pre-recorded and if not then it makes the text to speech artificial. Yes. Yes, yes it's always good. So, thank you. I want to ask you whether this um, work uh, in your art, working with text bots, um, has it changed your personal way on how you dialogue with people, if you just need persons? I hope you hear it, no? <laughs> <laughs> I have a little bit of the impression. Yeah, it should Because be. Because this was, um, when I heard the last presentation, yes. you presented a dialogue between ah, yes. your um, a bot that was interviewing you yes, yes, yes. as an artist, and the interesting thing was that you seems to act like a bot, and yes, the yes, bot yes. seems to be more human than the person who was interviewing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you enlightened me because of the last presentation? <laughs> <laughs> Next time we do the bot, bot interview, yeah. <laughs> okay.